Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 51st tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about nested loops. And just as with the nested if else construct, in nested loops you can have one loop within the body of another loop, right? So you have one while loop and within the body of that loop you can have another while loop and within the body of that while loop you can have yet another while loop so you know there is no restriction or limitation on the level of nesting that you can have in your shell scripts you can have as many while loops within as many while loops as you want right so to demonstrate the concept of nested loops i'm going to use a shell script so i'll bring up my text editor and i've saved this file in the home folder i've given it the name pattern and has the extension sh right so let's get started what i'm going to do in this script is i'm going to make it display all combinations of the numbers one two and three right and there can be 27 combinations like one 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 and one two two and one two three and then two 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 and three 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 right so there can be like so many combinations and uh once we prepare the shell script i'm going to show you guys the output and uh you can see for yourself so on line one, I'm going to declare and initialize the variable, the control variable for my first or the outermost while loop. And I'm going to call this one A and I'll give it the value one since we want to start our range from one and extend it till three. On line two, I'm going to type in my first while statement. And the test condition for this statement is going to be while dollar A is less than equal to three, right? Because uh, this is going to be the range of my control variable. It's going to start from one and it's going to end at three and uh, this is going to be true for the other two control variables as well and uh, we're going to use three while loops so on line three i'll type in the keyword do to get inside the body of the first while loop and now i'll declare and initialize the control variable for my second while loop i'm going to call this one b and i'll give it the value one right on line five i'll type in my second while statement and the test condition this time is going to be while dollar b is less than equal to three right and on line six i'll type in uh, the keyword do to get inside the body of the second while loop and now i'll declare and initialize the variable for my third while loop i'll call it c and i'll give it the value one and on line eight i'm going to type in my last while statement and the test condition for this one is going to be while dollar c is less than equal to three right and on line I'll type in the keyword do to get inside the body of the innermost while loop and uh, now I'll uh, use the echo statement to display the three variables on screen so dollar a dollar b and dollar c right so all three variables will be displayed and uh, now I will increment the control variable for the innermost while loop by typing in expr space dollar c space addition symbol space one and uh, I'll put this within reverse quotes and I'll uh, assign c the value of uh, this mathematical expression and then I'll terminate the body of my innermost while loop by typing in the keyword done on line 12 and uh, then I'll increment the control variable for my second while loop and this I'm going to do by typing in b is equal to expr space dollar b space plus space one right and the mathematical expression will obviously go in reverse quotes and then I'll type in the keyword done to terminate my second while loop and next I'll increment the control variable for my outer, outermost while loop and that I'm going to do by typing in a is equal to expr space dollar a space addition symbol space one right and the expression will go in reverse quotes and then on line 16 I'll type in the keyword done and our script is ready right so now we can check out the pattern that we get I have my terminal here I'll type in the command sh space pattern dot sh and uh, that's the name of the script file that we've just made and when I press the enter key you see these 27 numbers on screen and the first one is 111 and the last one is 333 and all the cases between these two numbers have been covered right and 
you know the number that you see on 112 uh, on line 2 sorry you won't see that number on any other line so all these numbers are different and uh, we've covered all possible combinations that you can have with the numbers 1 2 and 3 and I'm talking about three digit combinations so that's it in this script we haven't really done anything fancy but this was the best example that I could think of to demonstrate the concept of nested loops and uh, you would be using nested loops a uh, lot uh, not only in this course but if you intend to take up shell programming as a career option then uh, you know many a times you would be required to use nested loops and uh, they can be you know pretty confusing sometimes and uh, it's important to comment your code you know if the level of nesting is uh, pretty high in your shell scripts and uh, in this case we didn't really need comments but you know it's all it always helps to have comments in your shell script so thank you so much for watching this tutorial i'll see you guys in the next one in which we'll discuss something important again and um, please subscribe to my channel